about the teacher. Hello, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. Ah, good it's, it's late too. It's late. It's late. No, it's not late. It's, it's late? No. To me, it's late. Uh, to, uh, to you, okay. For you, it's late. No, for me, it's not late. <laughs> yes. Hello, Arturo Guevara. Hi, Marlene. How are you? I'm fine. And you, are you happy? Yes, always I'm happy. Oh, yeah, I like it so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, me too. Hello, Osman. Hello, Are Marlene. you happy tonight? I guess so. <laughs> yes, I am, yes, I am very happy. Happy, happy, always. <laughs> really happy. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Yes. Uh, my point? students was very happy too because the exam is excellent. Okay. Sounds it was good. Excellent, I, my, my exam. Wow. Ah, so it's good. It's good. What about the, the weather today in your city? It was raining in the morning, but right now or no? Ah, okay. Arturo. Hi, Osman. How are you, man? I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Okay, I'm fine too. It's raining in Santana City? It's just, just a little, but uh, in, in a short time. Okay. Here in the city, in Santana. City? I, I, in I... Yes. I, I heard that in, in San Salvador City was raining really hard. Okay. Yes, I, I, I watched the news and I watched that uh, the news uh, uh, about the weather. Uh, we, we, I don't know how to say, uh, habrá, habrá lluvia? Will be. Uh, it will be. Uh, will be. Will be. Will be raining. Will be raining in uh, tomorrow. All country. All country tomorrow. Yes. Hey, hello, uh, hello. Classmate. Really? Hello. Did you do the homework? Yes, everybody did the homework actually. Homework. Yeah. I did my homework? homework. Yeah. I did. Homework. Everybody. The homework that I received from you guys actually. Wow, that's yeah. That's I did receive your whole homework. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, did you forgot, yeah. uh, Mr. <laughs> Osman? Actually, you had two homeworks for today. <laughs> yeah. Two homework, teacher. Yeah. I remember only only one, just just one homework. Actually, it's, it's, there are two. <laughs> Iris, hello, Iris. Hello. Alrighty. How are hello. you, man? <laughs> okay, we're going to start right now. Okay. My my second uh, my right hand is Madeline, the the second teacher that you have right now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was uh, yes. hanging with each with you each other right now in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah. Because she okay. always helps me and supports me. <laughs> That's yeah. what I love her. Yeah. Madeline speak a lot. <laughs> yeah, but it's really good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because that really makes good. you speak, right? Yes. Because you have to show Sometimes. you or speak or speak whatever you prefer. Sometimes he, made, he speaks speak too fast speak. and sometimes he speaks slow. <laughs> so Madeline has, has to be a really great teacher. Actually, yes, she is. Are you see, Madeline? <laughs> yes, I am a teacher. Yeah, maybe she could be your next teacher for the next one. I'm month. very happy think? teacher. I'm very yeah. happy. My class, my students will have a good exam. Good really? exam today. Yes. That's great. That's great. Yeah, I'm so happy with you as well, guys, because you did a really great job, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. Yeah, we're going to discuss the results of your writing activity next coming Monday. All right? That's perfect. Uh, yeah, so that will be the... Today, we're going to have so much fun. We're going to learn a lot. We're going to do a lot of writing activity. We're going to do a lot of reading activities, okay? Ah, yes. yes I so today will be a lot of things, guys. Uh, brand new words for you as well. New activities and um, new listening skills as well. 
So we're going to be like a cocktail. Yeah, cocktail for the skill and develops. I mean, cocktail for uh, talking about English application, right? Don't think bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I, just to clarify that. Okay. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right, guys. So, Osman, uh, can we start with your uh, homework, please, uh, if you don't mind? Yes. Uh, I remember one, the sentence is uh, actually right. Okay, mm -hmm. I so have four sentences. four sentences about my 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 house. Uh -huh. yes. Describe, describe my house. Exactly yes. using comparisons okay. and uh, evaluations, okay. if you don't mind. Okay, the the first, uh, my house doesn't two floors than Omar's house. Ah, it doesn't have. Okay. 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 My house is and isn't as expensive as neighborhood's houses. Okay, very good. Uh, my neighborhood's houses don't have as much privacy as my house. Mm, excellent. My house isn't as noisy as neighborhood's houses. Very good. That was a really an excellent exercise. That's no, that's great. That was excellent. Very okay. good job, right? Yeah. Do you think, what do you think, guys? You did an excellent job, right? Excellent. <laughs> Very good. What about today's homework? <laughs> no, the, look at his face. I love it. <laughs> I go, ah! the email. Yeah, yeah, email. I send it to you. Yeah, I, I know, I know. My email. Yes, I, I have everybody's emails. I don't have your email, Mr. Osmond. Uh, no, teacher. Uh-huh. I, 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 I didn't, didn't send. And today was not Father's Day. <laughs> yes. So yes, that's the excuse for me. Okay, uh, I, okay, you, yeah. Please send it to me, okay? Between today and tomorrow. Okay. Well, oh, teacher. Yes, sir. The homework is today. Today, yes. no finish. Yes. Today finish. Uh, uh, no. No, because you didn't do it. So <laughs> I will. I will be nice, and I will give you one day more. One more day. Ah, okay. 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 Just because uh, I'm a I'm a nice teacher. Okay. But harder at the same time, right? But I'm going to send you a email late. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. That would be good. No okay. problem about that. All righty. I did have a lot of people here, which actually we have 16 right now. Ooh, that's nice. I'm so happy. Today is the last class for this week. Oh, guys, we almost finish. We almost finish. I think we have one more week. Oh, I think so, right? Yeah. Yes. Just or two weeks. Two weeks? No. One and a half. Three. One and a half. And a yes, half. one and a half actually. Oh, okay. oh my God! Time passed really fast. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Are we going to make exam at the end of the course? Actually, yes. Actually, yeah. Well, you have to do the midterm exam that they are in the platform. That's you really need to do it. Okay, that is a must. So please uh, do all the activities, the writing, the listening activities, and the midterms. Please, you gotta do it, cause okay, um, sure. and at least guys, you need to get like a score of eight, okay? So you can pass, because if you do not do the activities of the platform, uh, you won't be able to get enrolled in the next model. So it's mm -hmm. really important that you take your time to do the platform okay. activities, and most of the time the the midterm. That's, a, that's real important. Okay. And any teacher, questions, how, please free to send it. Teacher, yes, sir. How many how many activities are there in, in the platform? Actually, we have a lot. Each uh, after each um, topic, we do have activities. For for activity for a week, brother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. It's okay. Spanglish. That's right. No worry. Don't worry about that. Yes, Gerardo. Okay. Go ahead. What happened? I have a little question for that, uh, about that. Go ahead, sir. Uh, we have to finish the, the exercise in the platform before end the, the month. Before the, yeah. the model ends, yes. The model, ah, okay. Yes, please. Yes, the, the, yes. and it, my best recommendation would be, guys, that if you do it daily, 
But if you do not have time because of the schedule of your work or because you're tired, at least try to do it at the end of the week, each week. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because every week we cover one section. Okay? So in that case, you will be on time. You're not going to be in a hurry, but one day before the model ends, right? So that would be my best recommendation because you have um, the information of the topics fresh in your mind. So it'll be easy that you can do the activities and you have listening activities and writing activities as well. So, and it's really, really important that you do it because you may, that uh, will help you to, uh, to, to practice basically and to improve. Okay. And don't worry if it's the first time for the section uh, or the, the one that you need to complete everything. Sometimes you got like not too good score and you said, oh my God. So don't worry. You can do it as many times as you wanted to. Okay. Until you get the score that you want and that you need. Okay. And you have 24 okay. seven for the platform. So you can enter anytime, wherever you go. But please do it. And if you have any questions regarding any exercise, or oh, you said, you know what, teacher, I had wrote this sentence like this way, this way, and this way. And for some reason, the platform doesn't like me because it always uh, shows that I'm, that is wrong. So please, I need help. Of course, you can get in touch with me. I will be more than glad to help you. Okay. Not to give you the answer, <laughs> but, all, but to guide you. Okay. To help you. All right. So that's why I'm here. And feel free to text me, okay, anytime. As Madeline knows, sometimes I do not answer right away, but I answer. Okay. Okay. Yes. Alrighty. So, how you feel today? Anything special happened to you today that you I wanted to share with us? Special. Yeah. Anything special? You feel a no. little. No. <laughs> Nothing, Madeline, besides that the, that the students made a great job on the test? I told you about my students. It's, it's, a, it's a special for me. Yeah, no, but I mean, besides that. Ah, uh, no, I don't no. know. Okay, no. what about you, Julie? Only my homework. Oh, Only your homework, home. yes. That was really good, actually. Um, what about you, Julie? Uh, can, I, can I read it? Later on, later on, because we're going to do an activity with that. Oh, yes. What about you, Julie? Uh, how was my day? Uh huh. Yes, my day was uh, pretty good. I had an, an interview via video call, and it was uh, stressful because uh, the first time, in the first instance, uh, my audio didn't work. So I was like, no, I was prepared, and what happened in the like at the last minute? Mm -hmm. So, um, so the the human resources uh, girl called me and she was like, we can see you, but we can hear you. And I was like, I can't hear you either. So <laughs> she told me that if she um, get uh, the other candidate before me, and I said, yes, because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I needed to re, re initiate my initiate it, Yeah. Yeah. And then it worked. <laughs> so it was pretty stressful at, at the first time, but it was good. And then I got, two more, so it was three in total, like for the same company. And this is this, I got six interviews for the same company. So I'm, I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. It's, a, it's stressful, but yeah, it's good. But and, it, and, and it is in English, so it's <laughs> good. It's better. It was in Spanish? No, in English. In English, you see, I was, oh, that's great. And did you do an excellent job? Did you make me proud as a teacher? Yes, I uh, yay. I'm <laughs> I'll so let you know if I get the job. <laughs> Hopefully you got the job. Thank you. That was really nice. Congratulations. It was via Zoom, mm -hmm. was via Skype. It was via Microsoft Teams. And oh, I have my, okay. never and I have never used Microsoft Teams. I just downloaded it for this interview and I was like, where do I press? Where? Where? <laughs> Google knows so everything. Got, you gotta yeah. search into YouTube. And it works. Yeah. I was, the thing is that before I have used it and it worked with, mm -hmm. uh, this, with this same um, company days mm -hmm. before. So I was, okay, I'm ready. I don't think anything can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, it, I, I was not lucky today, but. 
just the first one and then the second interview and the third one it was okay it was fine oh, i'm yeah. so happy okay you need to let us know what was the the end of this story okay sure i will hopefully hopefully she will get the job I, i'm sure hopefully. you do <laughs> yeah that's nice who else has had a really great day besides madeline and julie tell me feel see. what happened besides madeline and julie that they already told us about the day anything else something different arturo osman bane francisco raul patty i have a Feel little see. a little problem what happened iris <laughs> in the morning i have a little discuss with a neighbor for the parking space he blocked my car and he drank he was drunk and don't want to move and give me the key if you want move the car you move and i'm late i'm go out late and pick up the other people late and working oh. late oh my, oh my day is late 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 <laughs> yes exactly. oh my <laughs> god but that your boss didn't say anything to you you explain it to them yeah yeah and yeah. uh, the people um wait for me for a long time and i i apologize with yeah. everyone and it's a, a well, little thing but yes it's stressful it's stressful all day <laughs> yeah it's actually understand uh there's what but you gotta think of there there's sometimes there are things that we cannot control that they're out of our hands and people's reactions is one of the things that we cannot control mm -hmm. yeah but yeah. What, what we can control is that what we let that thing to affect us is it a positive way or a negative way that's what we can control our feelings our emotions Yes, for in this in that moment I feel a little a little bad, a little yeah. angry. Yeah, but of I, course. You're I human. thought it's it's not good because I start the day mm -hmm. and I breath and I breath. go out. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because uh, the the guy was drunk and I think it's not good uh discuss with him. Yes. Exactly. Because there's no point, right? Yes. But I'm so happy that even though you started with a bad uh, situation, you're here, you're yes. smiling, <laughs> and I promise that you will have a really great class today. Okay, I promise. Yes. And I'm so <laughs> happy that Thank you're you. here. Yeah, I'm so happy. Even though maybe it will be a hard day for all of you guys, but you are here. I know Bane, you look so tired, but you're here. I'm so happy. Also, Henry, Patty, also, Claudia. Francisco, Monsieur Francisco Mahano. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. You know what? You look like French for me. <laughs> also, Carlitos, Jose, Daniel, Brian. I'm so happy to see all of you guys. Oh, I Thank love you. Carlitos Cruz picture because I, I <laughs> yeah, I remember the whiskey. Okay. Hopefully, I can show you whiskey, okay, by the end of, the, of this class. Hopefully. Okay. It depends <laughs> where he is right now. Actually, he's not with me. Because he will be barking. Oh. Okay. Yes. But hopefully. Okay, guys. So let the party start, right? All righty. Okay. I told you guys that we're going to develop that reading skill today. And basically, we heard um, a listening activity yesterday. They were talking about unusual houses, right? Unusual houses. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yes. Mm. All right. I gave you like an idea. What was that house is about? But we're going to do something. I'm going to play the audio one more time. Okay. Just for you to have like an idea and for the people that were not in the class yesterday, like for example, uh, Iris, right? And I think Julie, you were not there. No, no, you, you were. Exactly. Carlito is the one that was not here. Okay. And also Alberto. So you're going to prepare. And after that, guys, we're going to do that reading activity today guys we're going to learn about scanning and scheming okay. what's that yeah you will know. see don't worry about it because guys reading is not just reading reading you have to learn techniques to read 
especially if you don't have enough time. Okay. Oh. So we're oh. going to start with the reading activities. Uh -huh. And every time that we read an article, we're going to develop one skill. Okay. Because reading, we have a lot of skills to develop. And we're going to go for the article that are really uh, familiar with us to uh, really tough articles. Okay. From different topics. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask that she's not going to be my teacher next model, please. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so let's start. Let me share right now my screen and then we're going to share the, um, the, the audio program, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes and then you're going to hear. There you go. Mm -hmm. Are you able to see my screen, guys? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Tell me if you Usual can homes. Yes, exactly. Unusual homes. That means that they are not common houses. Yellow and other bright colors. Okay, let me go back because that one is already started. Okay, cool. There you go. I don't. So, let's see. The Page 49, Exercise 12. Reading. Unusual Homes. Shusaku Arakawa and Madeline Ginz are famous designers. Their nine lofts near Tokyo, Japan are very colorful. The apartments are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright colors. Inside, the walls are colorful too. The floors go up and down, and some rooms are round. The windows have strange shapes, so there are no curtains. There are small doors to the outside. Inside, there aren't any closets. The bookcase is in the middle of the living room. Dan Phillips likes to help people. He builds houses for artists and other low-income people in Huntsville, Texas, in the United States. One house, the tree house, is in a large tree in the forest. It has windows on the floor. It also has a small kitchen. The bed is on the upstairs floor. There is a wood-burning stove from an old ship in the living room. Phillips teaches people how to build houses with recycled materials. Alrighty, okay guys. Recycle material, I said. Somebody said recycle material, what's that? Alrighty, okay guys, so you get a different idea. Right now, we're going to start with the reading, okay? I, I, I gave you the listening just for you to get used to uh, the pronunciation of some words, but we're going to get into details right now, okay? Right now, guys, we're going to develop the scanning, okay? What is a scan? Basically, like if you were in a supermarket, you pass the thing like through, through faster, right? Okay, so listen carefully what I'm going to ask you. I'm going to ask you two questions. And I want you guys to take a look quickly or where is the answer of the question located? That is a scanning. That means that you're not going to read the whole paragraph again. You just go and find the answer for me. You just scan quickly. You just like quick review of the paragraph, okay? That is a scanning, okay? And a scheming is basically find the answer for me. You just find the answer directly of the question that I'm giving to you. That is a scheming, okay? Okay. The scanning is like a physical thing. Mm -hmm. the scheming is to go straight ahead to the answer of the question that I formulate, okay? Without reading the whole thing again. That is what we're doing, okay? So let the body start. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't worry about that. I'm not mean. Don't worry. I'm not like that. Well, sometimes I am, but no, not this time. Okay. Okay, guys, the first question, and then I will share my screen with you, but right now the first question is, 
According to the article, where are the lofts? That is one question. And the second question will be, where does Don Phillips build houses? Okay? All right, now okay. I'm going to share my screen. Where are the lofts? The lofts. The lofts, uh-huh. And uh, the second question, it will be, where does Dan Phillips build houses? Okay. You know what lofts are? No. Any idea, guys? Madeline? Help them, please. In Texas. Uh, uh, well, uh, no, no, no. Well, Where are uh, the lofts? No. No? Where? Do you know, guys, what no. lots mean? Lofts? Yes. Lots. No, yeah. no lofts. Understand lofts. Lofts. Exactly. Lost. It's a piece of hair. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> No, loft is, no, uh, those are uh, this bun. Ah. Oh, Altillo. All right. For okay. example, this room is located in the wood line oh. loft. Esta habitación yeah. se encuentra en el desván forrado de madera. Like, like that, for example. Okay, now, okay. now, yes? Thank you. Exactly. You know <laughs> Thank you. All righty, but allow me one minute. That is not the answer. Okay, can you see it, guys? Yes. 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 Well, that's good. really a huge one, right? Oh my God, teacher, what did you do? Don't worry, it's here. It's here. There you go. It's here. Okay. So, you have a big. Yes. Find the answer for me, please. Near Tokyo. Okay. And I love near Tokyo. All right. Tokyo. Are you agree with guys? With her? Yes. 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 Okay, so, okay now, Japan. All right, so where does the Dan Phillips build houses, guys? You in, be, Texas. in Texas. Mm -hmm. In Texas. 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 And where is it located? Um, United, States. United, States. United, States. United States of America. Yes. Exactly. Okay, let me ask another question regarding the first group. Uh, tell me, guys, what colors are the apartments of the first picture? Ah, red, yellow, yellow, What about the the floors? What are the characteristics of the floors? The floor goes up and down. 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 Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What is the meaning, teacher? Rooms around. Which one? What is that? What is the mean? The meaning of what? Uh, Rooms uh, around. Well, uh, floor up and down. I don't up understand. and down. Up Arriba and down. y abajo. Floor. Up and down. Mm -hmm. Upstairs the living room. Uh huh. Upstairs and downstairs. So you can find okay. uh, rooms all over the place. Okay. Upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about the windows? Do you have a particular information about the windows? Have, have a strange, strange shape. Strange shape. Have a strange shape. There are no curtains. There are no curtains. Exactly, no and they, they have they have closets, isn't? They, aren't they? No. 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 There are in. They are in. Okay. What about a, a living room? Does it have a mirror living room? In the second floor, I. The bookcase is in the middle of the living room. All righty, very good. Okay, what else? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, what about Mr. Dan Phillips? All righty, tell me something. Is there one house in particular that the article talks about? Yeah, one house, the tree house. A house. It's in the large right. tree in the forest. Yeah, the big house. Houses. And what is the characteristic of that particular house? I think it's the one that we show in the picture, right? Recycled materials. Uh huh. Recycled material. Exactly. And what is, what is the, uh, the the house has inside? Um, it was a very good excellent job 
Excellent. If there's any word that you don't know what doesn't mean on the second group, on Mr. Dan Phillips' information? What's the meaning of wood burning? Wood burning burn stuff oh. is, is, is another way to say that it is constructed by wood, but wood burning stuff is a stufa where, no. you, where you cook all your uh, food. Keep the, mm -hmm. the, the hot in the, yes. the hood. Exactly. Okay. Anything else? Low no more. Hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so we're going to practice the reading right now, okay? Who's okay. going to help me? Okay, let me sign with my beautiful Iris. Go ahead, Iris. Start with Sasuko Arakawa, okay? Okay. And I will let you know where you're going to stop because Sasuko everybody's going to Arakawa and Madeleine Yin are famous designers. Mm -hmm. Their now love near Tokyo, Japan are very colorful. Very good. Stop there. Uh, continue reading, please, Patty. Huh, you're not paying attention, right? Yep. Okay, okay but <laughs> the apartment the apartment are blue, pink, red, yellow, and other bright color. In size, the walls are colorful too. Very good. Stop there. The floor, yeah, I, I know. Oh, she, she, se emocionó. She got excited. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, stop there. Thank you, Patty. Continue reading, please, Anita. The floor go up and down and some home around the window have a strange shelf so there are no curtains. There are small do door the outside. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, inside there aren't any closet. The mm, bookcase. I I can't I can see it. it oh. The letter is very small for me. Oh, it's really small for you. What about now? Is it much better? Um, it's better. No. No? But, no? Yes, yes. I cannot yes. see you. I cannot see the dog. What about you, Anita? Yes, yes. The, okay, go ahead. No, the, the floor go up and down. down and so... <laughs> uh, the floor go up and down and so round. Home are round. The window have a strange shape, shape. shapes. Mm -hmm. Shape. So there are no, no curtains. curtains. Okay. Curtains. There are a small door to the outside. Very good. Inside, mm, there aren't any closet. All right. The bookcase is in the middle. middle, middle. Middle? Middle on the living room. Very good. Good job, Anita. Congratulations. Excellent. All righty. Who continue reading for me? All right. Thank you so much, Brian. Go ahead, please. Mr. Brian. Yeah, sorry. I, I, I was muted. Okay, go ahead. Dan Phillips likes to help people. He helps he builds? He building houses for artists and other low-income people in Houston by Texas in the United States. Okay, stop there. Very good. Excellent. Continue reading, please, uh, Danny. One house, uh, the three house, in, is in a large tree in the forest. It was windowed on the floor. It also has a small kitchen. Mm -hmm. uh, the bed is on the upstairs floor. Uh, there is a wood burning stove from an old ship in the living room. Mm -hmm. Continue. Uh, Phyllis teaches people how to build houses uh, with recycled materials. Very good. Excellent job, guys. You see, we're practicing intonation and pronunciation. Amazing job. So, but there are some words that we need to like just double check to pronunciation, okay? 
So let me work on that right now really quickly. Um, very good. This one. Repeat after me, please, guys. Colorful. 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 Up and down. Up and down. Round. Round. Strange. 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 Shapes. 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 Curtains. Curtains. Outside. Outside. Inside. Inside. Closets. Closets. Bookcase. Okay. Middle. 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 All right, very good. Let me go to the next one. Let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. Let's move on. All right, it's an excellent job, guys, actually. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> very, very, very good job. All right. Very good. All right, good. cool. All right, let's move on to this one. There you go. Check it out really quickly, this one, yes. There you go. Okay. This one, bills. 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 I think this one is the one that we're going to also practice along with just a couple of minutes. Let me raise this one really quickly. Because um, I just need to just highlight the one that we need just to <laughs> practice a little bit of. Just one more. There you go. Not in there, this one as well. There you go. All righty. This one. Low income. Low income. Do you know what low income, income uh, uh, is, uh, guys? No. We no. Don't. No? Okay. Low income people. That means that people that do they they might or may might not have a job but there are people that it's really hard for them to get to to exist to be uh, to have some money like on homeless uh, no homeless is the people that definitely they don't have a uh, any opportunity to receive money ah, okay but low income people is the one that they work but they do not have uh, a job that gives enough money to survive enough money, no, mm -hmm. money. exactly so that is the low income people okay all right. Mm -hmm. Repeat after me. Huntsville. 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 Huntsville, Texas. Huntsville, Texas. Texas. Huntsville, Texas. Texas. All right. This one Texas. also, please, guys, this is tree. 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 There's a difference. Tree. There's a difference between tree and three. Right? Tree. Right? Tree. Yes. Tree. Exactly. Tree house. This one. Okay, this three, one, guys, three. we're going to pronounce it like this way. Three. 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 This one. Three. And three. this one, three. we're going to provide it three. like three. this one. Like this. Three. All right? Three. So we got three. Three, three. three, that is the number. Three. three. And three, three. three. that is the... Three. three. Exactly. Three. three. One, exactly. two, three. 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 No, three. three. Three, three is out of three. 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 Yes. three with three. Three as in zebra is the number. Three. And then Don't number forget, three. guys, three. that three. Three. when we have, for example, we have the TH together, three. it's pronounced three. like in Z as in zebra. Okay? Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. Now let's move on. Um, floor. 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 Upstairs. Floor. Upstairs. Upstairs. Wood burning stuff. Wood burning stuff. Tissues. Tissues. All right. Recycle. Recycle. Material. Material. Excellent job. Very good. All right, excellent. So guys, okay, we already complete the article. And then if you can double check here, we do have, for example, um, some information, right? That we're going to complete. We're going to do like a oral comprehensive, right? So let's work on that. Who can read me the instructions? Thank you so much, Arturo, go ahead. 
Okay. Um, just the the. Just letter the A, first, please. Uh, yes. Okay. There are colorful walls. No, 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 no. Letter A as in apple. The, the, I mean the, okay. the instructions. Yes. Uh, perfect. Read the article. What yeah. is in home? Complete the chart. Very good. Okay, so we already have read the article, right, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. So basically, we if you see here, we do have um, the two sections. We do have the information for Jim's on the left side, yes. and then we have Phillips on the right side. So we have mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six things. So basically, mm -hmm. what we need to do is to put them in the correct uh, group. Okay, but let's practice right okay. now. Bed on upstairs floor, we got colorful walls, wood case, windows on the floor, classes, and wood burning stuff. Okay, the first one we already have it here, right? They are colorful yes. walls, so we are good on that. Okay, but we're missing something. What else? There aren't any what, guys? Closet. Closet? Closet. Closet. Yeah. Closet. Yes. Closet. These ones. Closet. Closet. All right. So let's write. Closets, you said, right? Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Very good. What about on the next one? Bookcase. 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 There is a bookcase? Bookcase. Okay. Bookcase. All right. Very good. Excellent. Exactly. In the living room. Good job. Let me check right now, really quickly. Okay, so we already have the bookcase and the closest. What about Dan Phillips' treehouse? There are what? There are windows, windows on the floor. Windows on the floor. On the floor. Windows, on the windows on the floor? Windows on the floor. Windows on the floor. Yeah. Windows on the floor. Uh, All righty. Windows. What else we have? There is a bell on the upstairs floor. Bell in the upstairs floor. On the upstairs floor. All right. On the upstairs floor. And there is a? Wood, wood, wood burning stove. Wood burning stove. All right. Wood burning stove. Burning, yeah. Burning stove. All right. Excellent job. You see, we're really good. We're we're practicing comprehension, guys. So that's amazing. Excellent. <clears throat> you are really good students. Woohoo! Thank you. Oh yeah. So now, guys, it's time for you to do um group activity. Okay. Basically, guys, we're going to talk about this. And uh, let me just a couple of minutes. Who can help me reading? All righty. Osman, could you please be so kind to help me reading the B group, group work, please? <coughs> okay. B group work. Talk about these questions. Mm -hmm. One, imagine you are painting your house. Mm -hmm. What color do you use? Why? Mm -hmm. And the In second one, please. Two. Two. Imagine you are building a house. Do you use new materials or recycled recycle materials? materials? <laughs> recycle materials. Why? All right. Very materials. good. Do me a favor. Can you please read the question once again? Number one and number two. Okay. Imagine you are playing. Imagine you are painting your house. What color do you use? White. Mm -hmm. Imagine you are building a house. Do you use new materials or recycled yeah. materials? White. Very good. Recycle materials. Recycle. Very this good. Is, this, Excellent. This for, 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 for the exactly. Session. That's why I ask you to read it again because I want you to read it like if you're asking something, like with question intonation. That's why. All right, guys, so do you remember the questions? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to make like a separate groups, okay? I'm going to make it into two groups, actually. We're 22. We're a lot of people. All right, okay, who is good in mathematics? 22 divided into three? How many people will be? Seven. Two groups, seven. Two groups, seven. And one of eight, right? Group. Six, yeah, seven. Two groups of seven and one group of eight. Yeah. All right. Now let's do it. So we'll be three. Okay, guys. Be sure. <laughs> Yay. Can you show, show us the, the, the question? I will. Don't worry. I will send it to you. Okay. 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 I will send it in a group. 
group. Yes, in the chat. In the group of three. Join. Yes, you gotta join, okay? Because you're going to practice the question that we are just read it. Hello, how are you? I already sent it to you. Ah, well. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good. Okay. Uh, the first one is if you're painting your house, what okay. color do you use and why? That's the first question that you need to discuss. The second one, if you would like to build a house, are, do you use new materials or recycled materials? And why? That would be the questions, okay? Okay. okay. Okay, so I'm going to double check with the other teams and I will come back to you. My, my house <laughs> uh, has uh, oh, oh, other color inside. Is uh, my kids painting, but on the only until they're here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Did you yes. check the chat? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. The two questions will be: Hi. If you're Hello. imagine that you're painting your house, what colors do you use and why? We already answered them. What white. about the house? Material or new recycled ones? The, the white. Ah. The white. The first. What about the second one? If you're building a house. Are you going to use or do you use recycled materials or new ones? And why? I will use a combination. Okay. Because and I don't why? think I will find every every part that I need to look at like a modern house with only recycled materials. So mm -hmm. I will mix them like mm -hmm. some some parts I will use recycled and the other part will be like right. recycled materials are more cheap. A cheaper. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. I I love the idea and uh, the house um sostenible. I don't mm -hmm. know what says so it's sostenable. Affordable. Yes. Yeah, and in the recycled material is a good idea for me. I I desire a can construction all with the recycled material the and uh -huh. uh, reduce the the. Consumers, yes, I don't know, like a sunlight system. Mm, okay, 
filter for water and things like that for help the earth. That's I good. That. Okay, so, cool. Let's continue talking. Okay, you will have one minute more. Okay. Okay. Cool. Let me double check the other guys. It's uh, orange so too. Teacher. All right. Did you already answer the two questions? No. Uh, yeah, okay. you see. Uh, we were Don't let Marina speak. Okay, everybody needs to speak. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just kidding. We have many All colors. Right. Yeah, th the first one is that if you're going to paint your house, what color do you use and why? And the second one, if you're going to build a house, do you use new materials or recycled materials and why? Uh, that will be the two questions. Mm -hmm. You're going to talk between you, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. All righty, okay. So let me double check right now the other teams. Okay, so... Uh, the other, the other let's question. Let's move to the other question. Well, uh, maybe we use wood because sometimes we need. Uh, well, no, wait, uh, uh, sometimes I use new materials, but uh, sometimes uh, I recycle materials too. Yeah. Materials. Uh, materials. materials. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think the same. Is, in this country, it's difficult to, to build houses with recycled materials. Maybe. What kind, what kind of materials? Recycled material. Recycle. Recycle. Oh, recycle. Only the, um, the good. Maybe. Only yes. good. Maybe for, for building. Uh, what is recycled it's material? It's, it's like a plastic or something like that. But um, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> in my house, I don't have Hi. Hello, guys. How are Hello. you? Okay. Do you like the exercise? Yeah. Was yeah. it good? Yes. Yeah, we have many, many um, different ideas about mm -hmm. uh, construction. Oh, the construction, exactly. And maybe they you gave uh, some ideas to your classmate, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. We're sharing our ideas or point of view. And at the same time, guys, we're speaking, we're developing our skills. And you are using also the new words that you're learning in this article. Colors, yeah. right? Mater recycle material, brand new materials. That's the purpose of that. Okay, cool. You see, guys, we have a, a seven minutes. So we're going to move to the next topic. We already closed this one for houses and apartments. Like I think you have enough of information about it. And we already have discussed a lot of things. But now we're going to talk about one word that is really unusual. That's not following any rules. It has a particular rule. And I think you have used it already. Have you heard about wish? Yes. No witch, like nyaka, nyaka, nyaka. no, 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 that, that, no, 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 <laughs> no, that, that witch. Like, like X. That, that's why you, I, I don't know, no comments about that. Okay, yeah, but witch, you see, you see, you, you see why it's really witch. important the pronunciation. Witch yeah. is the witch. nyaka, nyaka one, the one that you use uh, the, you know what, uh huh. So, so like, 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 guys, that is not nyaka, good. Okay, then, uh, yeah, that is witch. But wish, <laughs> wish is different. Wish, 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 yes. Wish. Wish. All right. Have you heard about that? 
How you how you use it? Okay, cool. Yeah. On my birthday. Yeah. Oh really? All right. That <laughs> word, guys, we can use it for present, for past, and for future. And um, to express hypothetical desires that uh, we do not quite sure that it will be, mm -hmm. uh, it will come true. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, that is what we use it. And uh, today we're going to learn about that. How do we use it? And basically, how do we use it, for example, in, to talk about present things, uh, or, but to use with past verbs? What? That is really difficult, right? Because that wish, when you would like, for example, guys, to make like, um, uh, that your actual circumstances were quite different, that you're not totally happy about it, totally happy about your house, about your um, work, about your economy, about everything, right? You you wish that um, that your circumstances were a little bit different. You use the word wish, but with the birth in the past to express desires in the present. So you see, that is a cocktail. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't follow any rules. So we're going to learn about that, and let me show you right now a little bit, a little video about it, and then we're going to discuss a little bit of grammar, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, okay. cool. All right, so let me just a couple of minutes. There you go. This one is the one that I want you to see. Oops, allow me just a couple of minutes. No, I need to share my screen right now. <laughs> I always forget that and I don't know why. I'm getting older, that's the reason. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I don't Yes, that's true. I need I to. I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? No, you are getting younger. Yeah. Uh, uh, not really. Yeah. Like an opinion. Look I don't younger. think so. And with many energy. <laughs> I do have a lot of energy. That's a hundred percent sure. But I'm not younger. I wish I could be like twenty, but not anymore. <laughs> okay, guys. So can you see my screen right now? Yes. Okay, yes. cool. Let's listen to this explanation. This one I chosen because this one is really easy to understand. And also, guys, covers the three uh, tenses that I was talking about, past, present, and future. Okay? And so let's start with it. I'll be telling you how to express wishes in English. So firstly, a wish is something that we want to happen, but that is impossible or is very unlikely to happen. We can talk about wishes for the past, the present, or the future. So let's start by talking about how to express wishes for the future. This can be a wish for the immediate future or a long-term wish. To talk about wishes for the future, we follow this pattern. Subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject, and then we add could or would and uh, the infinitive form of the verb. We use could when it's a wish about something that we want to be able to do and would for wishes about things that we just want to happen. For example, I wish I, that baby would stop crying. We use would because it's a wish about something we simply want to happen. We want the baby to stop crying. So we say, I wish that baby would stop crying. We want the baby to stop crying anytime in the future preferably immediately. In another example, I wish I could fly. I want to be able to fly, so I say, I wish I could fly. What about, I wish I could visit Paris. We want to be able to visit Paris, so I say, I wish I could visit Paris. Anytime in the future, I wish I could visit Paris. And finally, I wish it would stop raining. So this person wants it to be sunny. It's raining and he wishes it would stop raining. I wish it would stop raining. Another way of saying this is, I wish the sun would come out. So this means a very similar thing. I wish the sun would come out. So that's future wishes. What about things we wish were happening right now? Well, those are present wishes. 
And the way we talk about present wishes is to say subject plus the correct form of the verb to wish plus the second subject and then we add a verb in the past tense. So for example, we can say, I wish I had more money. Had is past tense. This person wants to have more money right now, so they say, I wish I had more money. Or, Sarah wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. Sarah's tire is flat. She does not know how to fix a flat tire. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. So knew is in the past tense. She wishes she knew how to fix a flat tire. And she wishes she knew that right now. We wish we were at the beach. We're not at the beach. We want to be at the beach. So we wish we were at the beach. And you'll notice that were is in the past tense. Now, the verb to be is actually a little bit tricky because when we talk about wishes, we, we leave all persons as using were. We don't use was. So instead of saying, I wish I was happy, we would say, I wish I were happy. But many native speakers will say, I wish I was happy. And many people will tell you that it is correct to say, I wish I was happy. So you can say, I wish I was happy, was being the past tense of to be, but it is grammatically correct to say, I wish I were happy. So just remember that you should be saying, I wish I were happy, but that everyone will understand you if you say, I wish I was happy. All right, let me stop right now this one because I'm going, we're going to focus on the future and the past tense of wish, okay? Also, you can, when you talk about in the past, you're going to use the, the past and the present perfect, and we have not seen that topic yet. Okay, so that's why I stop it. So you see, guys, that wish is a little bit quite different, right? It's yeah. totally different. Okay, let me share right now my screen because I want you to take a look on the grammar focus really quickly. We're going to continue with this topic on Monday, okay? So don't worry about it. We're going to continue with that. I promise. All right. There you go. Can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Yeah? yeah. No. Allow me one minute. What about now? Yes. Yes, yes right? Okay. No. Why you don't see it? I think the resolution of your internet, Adeline. Uh, yeah, that I'm might be. Sorry for me. No, okay. that's okay. Don't worry. I'm, what I'm going to do right now is to send it to you, okay? Don't worry. Okay, guys. So basically, today we're going to talk about, uh, we'll start talking uh, with wishes. Wishes, guys, is to express, um, we're going to learn today how to use wish to express a, a present wishes okay for example things that you would like right now in your life to be different but to express present wishes guys we're going to use the verb in the past okay for example take a look at the first example um omar could you please be so kind to read it for me of course uh, well use wish plus past tense to refer to present wishes very good I live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had my own apartment. Very good, uh, stop there. Okay guys, so you see, uh, the real thing right now is that I live with my parents. But am I happy with that or no? No. 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 I, exactly, I wish that my circumstances were different. So that, that's where I use wish guys. Take a look at this. For example, why I'm not happy? Because I live with my parents and I'm 35 years old. So you wish that your circumstances will be different. So you use wish, as you can see. Then you have the past of do, remember, but in a negative way. I didn't, didn't live. Exactly. And then you have the compliment with my parents. Take a look at this. Uh, this is really nice, guys, because you see this, apparently this sentence is in the past, right? 
because you are using a past tense. But you are talking about a desire that you would like to change in the present. So you see that which does not follow the rules? This is something very particular. Take a look at the second line that the Omar in, uh, read for have. us. We have had. It's the past of which, bet, of which verb? Have. 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 Exactly. So you see, I wish I had my own apartment. That means that this person doesn't have the apartment. Uh, they do, he does not live alone. He lives with his parents. So yeah. he, uh, the circumstances of the, ha of, the, of the person needs to be different. Okay, tell me, guys. Uh, according to this first example, uh, do you wish that uh, there's some information of sort of situation in your, in your life uh, be different? Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, let me give you an example of my case. I wish I could be. I wish I wish I could I, I could spend time with my mother. That's my that's my my desire. Why? Because I can't right now because of the quarantine, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Any other any other example, Iris? Use a verb in the past. We have not seen the verb to be yet. Only any other verb. I wish um, I lived with my old kids. Uh huh. Okay. Any other example, Ka Omar? Yes. I wish I. Mm. You, need to, you need to use a verb in the past, remember? Yes, yes, yes. I wish I could pay all my debts very good yeah yeah <laughs> hopefully you can do it okay all right exactly. very good okay <laughs> madeline what about you yes i i wish i went to to stay in south america again oh that's nice hopefully yeah. your, your dreams could come true and last yes. but not least uh patty any wishes that you have you can change in your actual circumstances. Yes, uh, I wish um, we with my family was or what? Ah, uh, we have not seen that yet. So you have to use another verb instead of verb to be. Okay. So, Go to the beach. Went to the beach. Went to the, Went beach. To the beach. Remember that we need to use, uh, to express something in the present, desire in the present, you need to use the, the verb in the past. Okay? okay. Very good. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay, guys, very good. So we're going to continue with this topic on Monday. We're going to also do a lot more exercises. We're going to do a lot of exercise with wish. Okay? Okay. okay. So, everything, so you're going to get used to it because this is not common, right? Because most of the time, you know that if you would like to talk about present, you need to use present tense, past is past. But this is really, really, really interesting word in English. So we need to learn it, how to use it, and when to use it, okay? okay. I'm going to send some information uh, so you can practice at home. And I will send it to you this uh, video as well, okay? So you can practice. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, it was okay. really nice to have you. I'm so happy that one more weekend we ended, but we're still together <laughs> and we're fine. So please, guys, study, do the platform activities, uh, take a good rest, okay? Eat a lot, do exercises, <laughs> uh, study, please. Eat a lot. Eat a lot. Omar, I need your email, okay? So I will wait for that. Ah, okay, <laughs> oh, wash your hands on, on the WhatsApp. Yes. Okay. Wash your hands. Okay. Yes. Wash your hands. Okay. Face mask. Yes. Just the mask. Yes, Clean your mask, hands yeah. with hand sanitizer. Right. Methods of distance. <laughs> yes. And guys, have a sweet dream. Okay. <laughs> Good weekend. Good weekend. Bye. 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 And kisses. Bye. See Bye. you Bye. next week. Bye. 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 Bye.